Hitler poised to invade, we began training a secret army. Men working in small groups would sabotage the invading Nazis. Volunteers were told to report for training to the post office in Highworth, where they made themselves known to the woman in charge, the unassuming Mabel Stranks. Well, there wasn't a password. It was the three, three halfpenny stamps. I'm sorry, I've only got half a crown. I haven't any change. <laughs> that <laughs> was the that's, clue. The, that's the interchange, and that's that's what goes on. So never go into a post office and ask for three, three halfpenny stamps. <laughs> you might end up in the auxiliary. You might end up in the auxiliary. Yes. Today, Mabel's story was put on display at the old post office in Highworth, an unveiling witnessed by her great grandson and family. I'm not sure she would have had anybody hanging around for long. And she would have been told to clear off out of it. And she's very strong charactered. Um, from what we find out from the family, um, she was a loving mother as well. Um, but she just did her job, and that was that. So and she didn't take any. <laughs> she didn't take any messing. No. Once the auxiliars had got the nod from the formidable Mabel Stranks in Highworth, they were brought a few miles down the road here to the Coles Hill Estate, and it's here they learnt the art of guerrilla warfare, such unsporting pursuits as silent killing, how to use German weapons and the use of explosives, including how to booby trap a toilet so it would blow up on an unsuspecting occupying German officer. If we had been invaded, the auxiliars were on a suicide mission and Mabel's strength's life was also at risk. Every one of the auxiliars that came through that door could recognise her and give her away. So if they were ever caught, and they were only going to last a couple of weeks or three weeks, if they got got pressured, gave away it, the, the sequence of getting in, Mabel could have been easily for the chop. <laughs> Mabel Stranks probably had no idea that she was filtering Churchill's resistance army, but it's still a great West Country war story. And this year, a few surviving auxiliars will parade at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday for the first time ever. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West.